Welcome back. Love world. I didn't expect Love world to be all dark and whatnot. It's kind of weird. Actually, this is, so far this seems like the one place that's not really... Yeah, it's just Jelly Glove World. This seems to be the one place that doesn't have a theme, actually. Glove World is just Glove World, except, you know, like, all messed up by the jelly and whatnot. How do you get on top of there? Oh. I mean, that's how you're supposed to get to where I was just now. Oops. I guess one of says hi ya and the caption is gong sound. Well, it's just because of a timing issue, but still, it's not funny to me. Anyways. Here we go. Sticky sweet. Doing things the way they're meant to be done. Like is. In theory, you could use this to go wherever you want. And the game always has a very specific idea of where you should go with those surfboards, but you can take it in any direction. There's probably some things we can be doing that at some point. That's a good way to move around quickly, that kick. Refreshments? Handmade. Amazing. I bet Patrick would love to see all this food. I miss him. Like a love flavor. Patrick would be drooling over these carnival snacks. And I would happily pay for the damages. <laughs> damages. Amazing. You and what money, SpongeBob? How do you get up here, kid? Patrick. I just want to go home. I've been living on glove flavored candy for days. Okay, how many references are we going to make to glove flavored? <laughs> but that is a reference to the show, at least. It wasn't ice cream in the original. It was just, well, glove shaped glove flavored candy. But however that works. Uh, I thought they were going to talk about the, the mid in there. That would have been funny. I don't know. I wonder how they came up with Glove World in the original show. What kind of thought process leads to that? Glove, love, pat. Amazing. One of the better stories I've, I've, I've heard lately. What's with the, all the gongs here? I slipped underneath that thing in an interesting fashion just now. Huh. Looks kind of weird not being able to go into any of these tents, though. We're just kind of there to be there. What am I actually doing? What's that beautiful song? It makes me want a boogie. Yeah, a song supposedly played, although I don't know what. I feel like I'm missing something here. So a song plays. Really, if I kick a gong? Oh, never mind, I get it now, I get it. I didn't realize those had things running on them. Because that, that's the heart. That's Pat, okay. A minute for each, that's kind of crazy. It's weird how you notice the, the music changing. Random. Oh, this is this song from the show, isn't it? I played for a second there. I have a real knack for getting myself stuck in places in this game. Now that's a twist. <laughs> what the heck? No reaction to this SpongeBob? I'm kind of disappointed, actually. I really wanted to see SpongeBob's reaction to this. Sort of, you can do better than that, come on. I appreciate that one bit of seaweed over there. And the, the very displaced... Yeah, look at that, there's one little bit of 
whatever in the water there too. Details where most people will never look. This is interesting. Or maybe SpongeBob would react to this one instead. Patrick sure doesn't look like he's having fun in that picture. Maybe he's screaming with joy. Well, his mouth is closed. You have to remember that picture, SpongeBob. That's on the show. Anyways, I saw that there was stuff up on top of the. Uh... When I get up here. On there, Bob. Thank you. Yeah, I noticed I could get up here earlier. Okay, maybe there's no utility to that. I call this song at least a little bit threatening while still be all carnival like. I don't know. For some reason, I, when I first heard the song, I thought, oh, we're going all carnival esque. And I was hoping for something that would impress me slightly more, but it's good enough. Look at that lighting. Amazing. I'm not used to games like this actually having like directional lighting and whatnot, dynamic lighting in general. I'm used to just like baked shadows and simple projections and whatnot. Look, when anything 2006 or newer is new in your mind as far as video games are concerned, it's just, it's a very different world. Anyways. Oh, here. I will kick you if I could. Did I take this long for a title drop, or did I just forget an another one earlier in the game? But, okay, we're turning into an actually somewhat interesting concept for this level uh, all of a sudden. Glovey Glove is turning out to be, like, the big antagonist for a little bit. That's authentically interesting. Because what, what we did, we accidentally uh, subjected Glovey Glove to, well, uh, whatever this is. We have to say Patrick, weirdly, <laughs> weirdly serious and everything. Yeah, I'll take him. Oh, if only Patrick were here, we'd ride all the rides together and eat heaps of ice cream. But without him, I'd just end up heartburned. I like how his expression actually changes as he's speaking. Hey, Gary and Patrick were not there. At least not in that episode. I don't think the vault ever appeared since then. I could be wrong. At least not in the show that I watched. Boom. Look at all how, look how many pictures there are here, too. Jeez. This is a lot. I can't tell if the... taped over, uh... picture was actually... 3D or not, but no, it's just part of the texture, I think. There might be some kind of, um, I can't tell if there's some kind of, like, um, bump mat effect. There might be. Jeez. How many games have I played with Tunnels of Love in them at this point? I've played a couple. Granted, two of those games had the same Tunnel of Love in them. is still ridiculous. That being an off and home. That's still a random thing to notice I've, I've seen multiple times recently. Hi. So no new visitors, but evidently the current ones aren't allowed to leave either. But how did this... So, question. How exactly did this guy do whatever he just did with Patrick this, this quickly? The time, the time scales don't line up here, like, pa Bubble, Bubble. Balloon Patrick is gone, 
And then, like, within a minute of that, we come here and see everything is all... Glovey Glove and Patrick now. Where Glove Glove you get these pictures? Man. Aiming is a lot harder. It's not where you're actually facing the character. Game says to go this way. I feel like resisting that a little bit, but no. I don't want to mess up the narrative at the same time. Those all just, uh, really just submerge. Something just doesn't add up here. I don't know if this is so. I don't know if it's just the game taking the liberties, which it absolutely might, or if there's really something to it here. I definitely missed something there. Well, maybe someone that's all about the last thing, from what I'm told. Oh, look at you! I don't know what, what timing was to... ...avoid getting stunned there, but so I managed to do it. Also, Patrick will no longer bring me extra health anymore, probably. I do like that Patrick actually had impacts on the gameplay. SpongeBob is in a precarious position. All right, Square Pants. You've made it this far. You have to keep going. You can't turn your back on your best friend. After all, you have to talk to yourself when he's not around. Yeah. Why would a video game character do that? <laughs> Ethan proceeds to do exactly that again. As opposed to talking to Patrick, I guess. I guess we can take it to be implied that everything he's been saying until now has been talking to Patrick instead. Okay. Kind of a weird thing to do, I admit, but I clearly missed something here. Give me a second. So I didn't go backwards. For some reason, I thought it would actually just be a loop, so I would see each, but um, I'd see each side. But no, it looks like there's some stuff back here. Reaction to SpongeBob being the help. There we go. Oh, a Glove World secret! <laughs> I feel like Mr. Krabs. Amazing. Okay. Now we're gonna actually head on out. Yeah, I admit, though, this is the most I've been invested in this game so far. See, now that this game's actually... The whole time... Well, when I first picked up this game, I was thinking, Oh, hey, we can actually see Purple Amp do something themselves, instead of just remaking another game. And this part here, where they're doing the most original thing they've done in this entire game so far, I'm actually quite liking it. And they also don't even have to bring in some theme to justify rehashing a, a part of the... Or an area that was already bought from the bottom. Uh -oh. uh. I'm just trying to the boat there. Thank you. Want to, to kick that balloon, but. Okay, now I'm getting a little confused. Where did we come from? Where did we go? I don't recognize that passage over here. Alright. Warning! Glove World 
personnel only. Do oh. not enter without proper work gloves. Does my head look out? Sorry, I'll be back in a second. I hate having to have the camera face towards these balloons to kick them. Yeah, I don't know which way is the right way to go. I have a, there's a speaker that way too. I have a feeling this is the way I'm supposed to go. So the speakers are usually where blood pumps taunting me. Oh, is this where it just was? Oh. Okay. I guess this opened up. That clarifies things anyways. Okay. Really, this one little passage is... whatever. I thought it would be a little bit more interesting if it was off limits, but whatever. You know what? We'll do this next time.